in this tutorial i will talk about flush translation layer flush translation layer okay so uh, before that i would like to uh, talk about our previous video that uh, i talked about many things the first thing i talked about is transistor uh, transistor secondly i talk about page so transistor make page page make block so and then how can i uh, read so read uh, can only read one single page at a time and write so only write uh, in page i mean one page so it cannot write in the part of a page so it will write in the whole page even if uh, the size of the page is bigger than the right uh, the bigger than your uh, right operations okay and um, so now uh, talk about a uh, block so basically when it is operation work it is operation work it will erase the whole block not the page okay so it will erase the whole block so this is another co concept of erase and then we have also learned about write amplification write amplification we know that what is write amplification write amplification is something like that uh, if the, this is a let's say this is a page so this is if this is a page let's say you this page is 4 kb so you want to write uh, into this page so you write uh, a file which is 2 kb so this uh, size i mean the 2 kb is left so this uh, is west so this is called write amplification and another is wire leveling wire leveling is uh, something called distribute the write operation to whole uh, pages i mean all the pages uh, eventually or uh, okay now come to the point of flash translation layer okay what is the task of flash translation layer and how uh, how all the flash translation layer uh, parts work okay so let's remove all these things and start okay so in flash translation layer there are two tasks uh, is very important task so one is mapping one is mapping another one is garbage collection so garbage collection okay okay first uh, start with mapping so wh what is mapping mapping is uh, converting but virtual address to physical address okay so there are three types of mapping one is logical page address to physical page address one is logical block address to physical block address another one is both i mean these both together so i i write it as a both okay okay now uh, in these three types let's talk about a uh, logical page address so logical page address is something like that uh, let's say logical page of virtual address is connected with the physical page of the ssd okay so uh, what is the main problem here let's say logical page to, if we want to do that then we need a bigger ram ram of the ssd itself so uh, uh, so you need to understand another concept here ssd itself let's say this is ssd so there are two parts one is the storage another one is ram so so this ram strays this uh, table mapping table because of mapping table is stored in the ram so that it's uh, faster can access the value so what it is do uh, this uh, ram is store a table let's say this is a table so in this table logical page address and this is let's say physical page address okay so uh, what it is do it's convert it's stored the value of logical page address of the virtual uh address and it is also from the physical address so it's it's hold the values of both okay so uh th th that is a complex uh, process 
so i'm not gonna do that just simply i just make you understand so it stored the two values one is logical page address one is physical page address so uh, so it can easily uh, convert this okay or if you just uh, call for a logical uh, address and it can easily find that value so uh, if you think about the page level uh, mapping then what actually the problem here we need to store lots of values in here so we need a bigger ram as because of this table are stored in the ram okay so let's make it logical block address so logical block address is nothing just it is uh, stored the block address here so let's say um, 100 or 248 page make one block one block so what will happen it will reduce the size of the table by 248 times okay so it is it is a little bit uh, let's say the ram will be reduced right the use of ram will be reduced and the price will be less costly but uh, the problem here is it will not be the like uh, the garbage collection will be highly costly in these times and the, it will be a little bit slower than page level uh, uh, which is called okay uh, as we understand the mapping table now uh, let's come to the garbage collection how garbage collection actually work so why we need garbage collection actually so as we know that when we want to update any values as we have seen our last tutorial the update uh, any values what it will uh, what it is do is like let's say um, these are the page say let's say this is one page zero one two and three okay so this is page and this is let's say value we had been stored let's say x y and j had been stored here so if we want to update this value it will not update in here because of write operation cannot write or replace any of the page which had be, which is not free so this page is only free so it will update the value here okay so and this uh, will be invalid so we need to delete this value that's why we need an erase operation which is called actually garbage collection okay okay now this garbage collection what it will do it will erase the data and make uh, like uh, which is in delete pages so it will delete all the pages but this garbage collection cannot perform in one page it perform in the whole block okay so it is operation only perform in the full block it is not able to perform in the page level so it will delete the whole block okay so now there is a problem right if you want to delete let's say in the in the block uh, in the block there are lots of pages so let's say one page is uh, delete and another page is let's say not valid so we have to delete this page right below so so how it will perform right it is a big uh, like we need lots to perform because of it will delete the whole block but we have some valid data as well in here so we, what we have to do we have to copy the whole data to another free block which is free block and then what we have to do we have to delete this so it is very complex complex process uh, garbage, garbage collection is a uh, little bit uh, complex process in that sense that's it for today bye bye